Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a project for Newton's Nook Designs using a cute little stamp set called uh, Snow Angel Newton. It's brand new that just arrived over at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. It's a smaller uh, 3x4 stamp, so it has a great price point and it does have coordinating dies, so we'll be using that to cut out our image today. Let's jump in and do a little stamping. We're going to color in our Snow Angel Newton with alcohol markers. I'm going to actually use my Copics. So we're using Memento ink to ink up our image and stamp on some alcohol marker friendly cardstock. Um, this guy is so cute. He has a nice little scarf and cap so you can add some extra color um, to that little kitty. And then we are, um, we're going to do a little coloring. So let's zoom in. Um, I left the coloring in guys and I did uh, list the colors that I used. I'll play some music and then when I'm done coloring I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done, and I think he turned out really cute. You can see I used pinks and purples for his his little winter hat and scarf. I'm going to use the coordinating dies. We'll just use my nips, and we're going to separate these real quick, and I'll line him up, and then we'll we'll tape the die down. So it's nice to tape the die down when you put it through your die cutting machine, so it doesn't shift. Um, after we have this taped down, I'm also going to bring in some white cardstock and the frames and flags die set. I'm going to use the two largest. The largest die is the scalloped edge rectangle and then the, the next size over is the rounded corner. We'll use both of these and create a frame with some white cardstock. So we'll tape these down, kind of evenly space them. Um, I love frames on my cards so this set is perfect to do that. I'll run these through my die cutting machine and then we'll have Newton ready to go in our frame and um, while we have Newton out here, I had to unclog my glossy accents, but I'm adding my glossy accents around the motion detail that's around um, our Snow Angel Newton. Just adding a little bit of glossy accents, and then I'm going to bring in some um, my card base, actually, and some glitter. The glitter that I'm using I picked up at Walmart. I like it because it's like a chunky size. Um, it's larger than most, and it creates like really icy, snowy crystals on winter cards. So I'm just going to go over those motion areas that we added our glossy accents to, tap off the excess, and we'll let this dry. This way you have those, those crystals, and then with the glossy accents you can still see the motion detail. It's going to take a bit of time to dry, so in the meantime, let's work on our background. I have a panel that measures 4 inches. Um, actually. I take that back. This panel is slightly larger than the rounded rectangle that I use for my frame. 
we are going to do a little ink blending. This is actually a pale, pale pink cardstock. Um, I'm using my Distress Oxide ink. This is Seedless Preserves, and I'm going to go around all the edges of my pink cardstock. When I added my Seedless Preserve, which is the purple, to the pink, it kind of created a real pretty fuchsia. Um, and I wanted it to be a little bit more pink, so we're going to fix that in a minute. Um, I am going to bring in the color a little bit more with a pink Distress Oxide ink. It's Kitsch Flamingo. And um, we'll just bring in that halo in the middle a little bit closer. Just enough so I can put my 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 post-it note tape that I have on my fingers so I can turn it around without um, messing up that center. <laughs> um, now we're going to go bold or we're going to go home because we have some black soot distress oxide ink. And I'm sorry about my phone. We're going to take this and go around all the edges. I love putting black soot with bright colors because it just intensifies that color. Um, and it really makes it like a halo effect, makes it just stand out. I just went around all the edges. And then while we still have our craft mat out, I'm going to bring in some sparkle sheer shimmer spray. Um, when I picked this up, I meant to get a clear, but this is actually silver. I don't use it very often, um, but I think silver is going to go really good with that black. I'm going to spray my panel a couple times and get some nice sparkle in the background. Well, this is going to do two things. It's going to add sparkle and it's also going to oxidize that ink. You can see here, um, I'm looking for a snowy effect for my background. Now, after we have this done, we're going to bring in some white acrylic paint. I'm going to add a little bit to an acrylic block, grab my spray bottle. It just has water in it and we're going to dilute this acrylic paint. Um, I'm going to mix it up with my paintbrush and then we're going to do lots of splattering in the background. We're going to add some snowy um, details. Once I'm happy with it, I'll just clean off my acrylic block and um, I did go ahead and dry this with my heat gun um, because acrylic paint takes a very long time to dry. Um, so heat guns help. He, although a heat gun does kind of make bubbles with your acrylic paint, um, but since it's a snowfall background, I didn't mind the bubbles too much. I'm going to adhere my frame directly to my background panel and you can see how it just that center is really highlighted. I think it's going to be perfect for our snow angel. Now normally I like to pop this up but we're going to do something different. So we're going to take this panel and we're going to directly adhere this to our card base. Our largest frame leaves a little bit of a border on our card base and I love that. Now next we're going to bring in our snow angel and I think he is about dry. The glossy accents dried pretty quickly um, and I love those crystals. We are going to stamp our sentiment on the very bottom of our panel. I chose you're an angel and we're going to stamp it with Versafine Onyx Black ink. Um, it's nice ink because it does go over that acrylic paint also. Now to make this card a little extra special, I'm bringing in an action wobble. These are in, uh, mini action wobbles. I haven't made a wobble card in a long time and when I saw Newton, I just thought it would be perfect for this. So these are the perfect size. There's larger ones and there's smaller ones. I'm just removing the release paper off of the back side and then we'll tack this down to Newton. The action wobbles kind of do their own thing. All you have to do is remove the release paper and my nails aren't letting me get this last piece. So I'm going to use my scissors and lift up the release paper. And then now we have tacking this behind here. You just place it on your panel how you want it. And I'm going to put him not straight up and down. I'm going to put him kind of at an angle. And I think it's just going to be so cute when you take that out of an envelope. We are going to add a few snowflakes in the background. There's three different sets or kinds in our, our stamp set. I used all of them um, and I stamped it with my black ink just because we have that dark background and I think it, it really kind of um, something a little different. But that's my project today guys using Newton's Duck Designs new uh, Snow Angel Newton stamp set. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. Thanks for stopping by and we will see you again real soon guys. Bye bye. Thank you.